Up next is a few updates to some previous stories, but don't forget to like and subscribe. So Russ, not that long ago, we covered Uncut Gems from Criterion, and we were both very excited that that was coming out from Criterion. And at the time, Criterion had not stated that they would be releasing anything in 4K. It was heavily rumored, but there still was no official announcement that they were gonna release anything in 4K. And they've since gone back and they've announced that now they're going to release uncut gems in 4K as well, which is pretty cool. It's getting pushed back to November 23rd. It's a little bit later in the year than originally thought, but they are now bringing this out in 4K, which is pretty cool because this is exactly what we both said. Like I said, if, the, if they put this out in 4K, day one buy, I wanted this to come out in 4K. Yeah. That would have been like an immediate upgrade, immediate buy. I'm actually really glad this is happening. I've already pre-ordered this. Uh, the disc itself is the exact same. You're just going to get that 4K transfer. It does have a Dolby Atmos track, and it is a Dolby Vision presentation of the film, which is pretty neat. Uh, they have changed the cover art slightly for this one uh, to differentiate it from the Blu-ray release. It's basically another still of Adam Sandler here, just still kind of beat up looking, but smiling. I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't think it. I don't think it bothers me at all. But I'm just excited that they are putting it out. And Russ, will you now be pre-ordering this? Yes, yes. I will be picking this up. Also, finally gone live is the pre-order for the Middle Earth Ultimate Six Film Collection. We covered this a few weeks back and the details were slightly hazy, but the, the only thing that was really solid was the release date. And there was still some speculation as to whether or not this was even true, the release date being so close, but no official pre-order or no official date announcement, nothing, just rumored shots. Uh, the official street date now is October 26th. The product shots have been updated to be high res. You can see here all the digi books that slide into this bigger box. You can see the booklet here. It is a 64 page book, costume sketches, photography, production notes, and then all that kind of stuff. And again, it does have that box that you can sort of switch around and do what you'd like with to display it however you'd like. Now, the one thing that I will say is disappointing, the original notes for this release stated there was going to be new behind the scenes features that had never before been seen. All the previous releases came with these like appendices where it was two discs of extras per movie over like four hours per disc. It's an insane amount of behind the scenes footage. They did not mention if that was gonna be included here or not, only that there was gonna be some new content. And it has been confirmed that they will not be included in this set. So you're just going to get all of the Hobbit Ooh. films, all of the Lord of the Rings films, this great package, it does look stunning, all the, the booklet, the art cards, but you are not going to get the previous extras, which you literally have to have the old ones, which you most likely do. I don't know that anyone's buying this without having the ones from before, but you do have to hang on to those if you wanna keep those previous features. If for some reason they did not put the previous supplementals in there, that would just be a disaster. That would not yeah. be complete. That would not be definitive whatsoever. That Look. sounds like a cash grab. This is a 31 disc set. It's three Blu-ray discs for the theatrical Lord of the Rings, six Blu-ray discs for the extended editions of the Lord of the Rings, and then nine 4K discs for both versions of Lord of the Rings in 4K. Then you had three Blu-ray discs for the theatrical Hobbit, three Blu-ray discs for the Hobbit extended, and then six 4K discs for both versions of these films. So every format possible, every version possible, plus one bonus Blu-ray disc that has all of these additional extras, but no appendices and no 3D discs either, which I think were part of the original Hobbit release. This is coming in at $249.99 currently uh, for the pre-order. There's already one negative review here, which I will read aloud. This product is an absolute joke. The previous DVD and Blu-ray releases of these six films set the high bar for how movie extras should be presented. This release doesn't include a single legacy feature and only includes a single disc of extra material. Don't waste your money for a blatant cash grab. If you want these movies in 4K, save $100 and buy the original 4K sets. That Look. sounds like a cash grab. It does seem like a cash grab. Why am I spending $250 for these movies all over again just for a box? If I want everything, I want everything. They're going, they're giving you every disc possible, every movie possible, but not all the bonuses that came with it. it not even. There's no rights issues. I mean, it's the same damn company. Totally up to you. If you're deciding that you wish to purchase this, 250 bucks seems like a lot. Blatant Cash Grab says Noah Barub, and I'm gonna agree with him. Um, Russ agrees as well. Coming out October 26th. Russ, last weekend was Zabby's 12th birthday. 12th birthday and we wish them a happy birthday and all weekend long and i think a little bit even into the week they were doing these surprise drops on their site 
uh, their birthday launches, as they were calling them, that they weren't really announcing really fast or weren't really giving too much prior information before they would just drop. On their birthday, with about five minutes notice, it felt like, I could be wrong, but it felt like within about five minutes notice, they announced these collector's editions of Inglorious Bastards on their website. And it was really interesting what they did here. They released two different collector's editions, both that looked slightly different and came with slightly different things, same prices, $55.99. And then they also offered a version where you could buy both of them combined, just with a little bit of a discount, as well as I think one or two more extra things. So it was like this complete version of it all. The minute that I saw that they were available, I went online and they were, all of them were sold out except for I think it was the first option but then that one sold out within you know a few minutes later. So you didn't really have a lot of opportunity. What I did see, and I've never actually seen Zavi do this before, is that they mentioned these were limited to 1,000. I don't know that I've ever seen them advertise that before, but that would probably be why they went so quick. I don't know what the normal unit run is, but 1,000 doesn't seem like much for this title. Happy birthday. <laughs> I, I even said to you, that I would not even consider buying anything like this from Zavi. After receiving my Sting set that I bought from them, where essentially they just packaged their steel book with mm -hmm. an outer box and a poster and whatever else, kind of like what an arrow would do. The box was chintzy. In general, it just didn't feel sturdy. It just felt kind of cheap. And then when this Inglorious Bastards one was announced and released, you can see the detail that they wrote in here, rigid slipcase. They put that on all of these different ones. So I feel like these editions that they're now releasing are gonna have a much stronger, sturdier box. And maybe that's as a result of them purchasing Arrow and saying, you know, we have to kind of give that same quality that Arrow puts out on their boxes. Like this is our way of doing the same thing because those other ones were a joke. Uh, the first one says that it had a metallic finish, rigid slipcase. It came with their steel book that has Brad Pitt on it. They have a 36 page photo booklet, four art cards, housed in an envelope, eight character cards, only limited to 1000. So. It looks pretty nice in general. Mm -hmm. Then you got the second one, which has the Brad Pitt steelbook art now as the metallic finish rigid slipcase. It's got an engraved rifle deboss steelbook, a 36 page behind the scenes booklet, four art cards, eight playing cards as well. And then it's again limited to a thousand. So it's kind of like, which one do you like more here? And then for people that just can't help themselves and have to have limited everything no matter what and are like, if I get the first one, then I'll be missing out on the second one. If I get the second one, I'm missing out on the first one. So I got to have both. So Zavi's got you hooked up here. So they're calling this their complete Inglorious Bastards version, which has both editions of the film included here. And this one was going for $123.99 to snag up both with a rigid jacket slipcase with foil stamp title and magnet clothes, which does sound really nice. Um, contains the collector's edition one and two, a full color inner jacket wrap and hidden drawer to house elements exclusive to this complete bastards edition, individually numbered out of a thousand. We are telling you this way too late. If you're a person that didn't even know about this, it is way too late. If you did know about it and you wanted it, hopefully you got it. Otherwise these are definitely on eBay already for at least $20 more, possibly more than that. On one hand, it's interesting that they are upping their game as far as maybe at least their boxes are concerned. So maybe there'll be more of that to come that doesn't carry the arrow name. It'll be like a Zavi release that looks good. But on the other hand, they just look like they're ripe for scalpers and just getting these titles like ripped away before anyone even has a chance. So it's just becoming that much harder now probably to get anything from them. Sorry, baby. I tried the best I could. Also for Zavi's 12th birthday, right on the heels of that hot sellout of Inglorious Bastards, they decided to do us all solid and release in a very similar way, Carlito's way, and an exclusive collector's edition, which again has a mention of this rigid slipcase with spot gloss UV finish. It's not a flaky slipcase, man. It's rigid. <laughs> it's rigid. My slipcase is always rigid. Always. <laughs> it does come with that steel book. It comes with that one that we love so much, the exclusive Zavi uh, Steelbook, a 32 page behind well, the scenes. Hold on, Matt. Who is that on the cover of my Steelbook next to me? Dave is my friend. Gail, I owe him. But I owe Dave. <laughs> so I put him on my Steelbook, Gail. 32 page behind the scenes booklet featuring a script excerpt for our cards. An Escape to Paradise postcard. And the best part of it all, Russ, is that it's still on sale. 
It's still available for pre-order. It's still available right now as we're shooting this video. We yep. picked up our copies. I'm surprised. Yep. And I want to give a shout out to Tyler Skeen. Uh, yes. Big, a big shout out to Tyler Skeen because he had actually, um, he gave us a scoop on this one as well as a heads up on the Inglorious Bastards as well. That we owe him. We owe him. That Zavi was even thinking about putting these out and we were able to snag it in time. So thanks a lot, Tyler. Really appreciate the heads up. So I, we absolutely picked this up immediately. As soon as I saw it, got to get it. So um, this is still available to everyone out there. This might be something that you all have been waiting on too. It was a total surprise. We thought we were just going to get, you know, the regular or that shitty steelbook. But at least now that steelbook is housed in a very nice package overall. So the one thing, again, about this Carlitos I guess box, it's true. Zavi's always watching. I don't know what Matt's talking about right now. Honestly, I think YouTube's gotten the Matt. He's gone flaky. Look at this steel book, though. I owe Dave. I owed him. I put him on the cover, only for Zavi to put this out again. Back with me. Care would be proud. Purchase, but other ones that I've seen were just a flimsy cardboard. It kind of reminded me of that Indiana Jones one that we got, where there was nothing to do with that either. It was Happy birthday to you, Zavi. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Just, just was not any good. Um, this hard box, the thing that we, you know, appreciate probably the most out of all the stuff. We like the art cards. We like the posters. Happy birthday, dear Zavi. Happy birthday to you. Is really nice. Ross? No, I, I agree. Out October 25th.